Hi, I'm Adam Koo, and today I'm going to show you how I really make money consistently as a professional trader. You see, sometimes when I tell people that the way I generate income, the way I build my wealth is by trading the stock markets, some people look at me funnily and they go, hey, isn't that gambling? Doesn't that depend on luck? Isn't that risky? And I'm here to tell you the honest truth. And the honest truth is that trading is gambling. Absolutely. The stock market is a giant casino. It's a legal casino. So let me ask you this. In, in gambling, who always loses money? The answer is the players always lose money. See, as a player, sometimes you may win or lose in a short term. You may have a winning streak based on luck, but luck doesn't last forever. Luck will eventually run out and eventually players will always lose everything they have. But who always makes money in the end? The answer is the casino always makes money in the end, right? I'm sure you've heard this phrase that the house always wins. The casino always wins no matter what happens. Why? That is why the casino would give away free food, free entertainment, free drinks just to attract people to play. Because the more people that play, the more money they make. Now, how do they do that? How can a casino ensure that in a game of chance, they always make money? And I'm here to share with you the secrets of the casinos and to show you how as a professional trader, I set myself up as the casino. And that's how I always make money in the end. So how do casinos guarantee that they always make money in the end? Well, what they do is they rig the games in such a way that they have a statistical edge over the market. Or they have got a positive expectancy while the player has a negative expectancy. So here's how it works. Let's take a typical game called roulette. So in roulette, what happens is you've got a giant wheel, right? And this wheel is made of numbers. And you've got this um, spinning device, right? Where you throw the ball and the ball will spin, you'll land on one of the numbers. And what you can do is you can bet which number you'll land on, will it land on an odd or even number, a black or red number, okay? So a common bet would be to bet on black or red. So for example, this is a red number, it's a black number, it's another red number, and so on and so forth, okay? Now here's the thing. Many people think that if they make a bet, with the casino, they have got a 50-50 chance of being right. Well, they are wrong. It's not a 50-50 chance because the casino has rigged the game in such a way that there are altogether 18 red numbers, 18 black numbers. Similarly, 18 even numbers and 18 odd numbers. But there are two green numbers, which are the zero and the double zero. These are green. Okay, therein lies their secret. So this is what happens. For example, if you bet on black, what's your chance of being right? Your chance is 18, because there are 18 black numbers, out of not 36, 38, right? Because there are 18 black, 18 red, and two green numbers. So, and the casino's chance of winning is 20 out of 38. Because if the ball lands on the green, the casino wins as well, okay? So if you work it out, the player's chance of making money is about 47.3%. The casino's edge is 52.7%. So what is the casino's edge over the player? The casino's edge is 52.7 minus 47.3. That's 5.4%. There you go. So the casino has got a 5.4% edge over the player, and that's how they make all the money at the end of the day. So what does 5.4% mean? It means that in the long run, over many, many bets, for every $1 that people bet, in the long run, the casino will make 5.4% of that money, which is 5 cents, 5.4 cents, right? And if a million dollars are bet in the casino, the casino will make, on average, $54,000. So the more people that play, the more people that bet, the more money they make. That's what happens. Now, let me explain, explain in, in another way, right? For example, if you got a thousand bets, and each bet is a thousand dollars, a million is bad, right? A million dollars bad, right? Great. 
And statistically, out of a thousand bets, the casino is going to win 52.7%. The player is going to win 47.3%. Right? So that means the casino will win 527 bets and lose 473 bets. Right? Now, each time they bet, they win a thousand. They lose, they lose a thousand, right? So this is a thousand dollars. So they make 527 grand. They lose 473 grand. Right? So this minus this is, you got it, $54,000. That's how it works. So now I'm going to teach you as professional traders, how do we replicate the business model of the casinos? But first of all, let me tell you why most people who trade the stock markets will all lose money. I repeat, 90% of people who trade stocks will lose money, just like the players who go to a casino. And the reason most people will lose money is because they don't have a plan. They don't have a strategy, right? They buy based on rumors, based on emotions, based on opinions, based on tips, right? So to most people, when they, when they buy a stock, what's the chance of them being right? 50-50, right? It's random. It either goes up or it goes down. Now you may say, Adam, it's, if it's 50-50, it's not that bad. Well, actually, it's worse than that. Why? Remember that when you go to a casino, you bet a dollar. If you lose, you lose a dollar. If you win, you win a dollar, right? So you're risking one to make one, correct? But for most people, when they go into the stock markets, the trouble is because of their emotions, they lose more when they are wrong and they make less when they are right. Let me give you an example. So most people, what happens is if they buy a stock, say at $10, right? They say, it's going to go up. Yes, you know, I believe it's going to go up, right? And sure enough, it doesn't go up, right? It goes down and what happens? Right? They say it will come back tomorrow, it will come back tomorrow, it will come back tomorrow and they keep holding onto a loser till it loses big. They get a big fat loss. Yeah? And most people when they buy a stock and it starts going up by a bit, say $11, $12, they say, oh, you know, they made some money and they say, let me take my profits before I lose it and they take small profits. Okay? So most people because of instant gratification, the moment they make a bit of money, they want to sell and take it off the markets, right? So the instant gratification causes small wins, small profits. And the fear of losing money causes people to not want to cut their losses. So when they make a loss, they say, you know, it's going to come back, it's going to come back, you know, let me give it some more time, I'm going to have hope, right? And a small loss balloons to a large loss. So as a result, most people win small, they lose big, and they're right half the time. So you do the math. In the end, they always lose money. Now, as professional traders, we always make money at the end of the day. How do we do that? We replicate the business model of the casino. So I explain how the casinos rig the game in order to have a statistical edge over the player, right? Now I'm gonna teach you how as professional traders, we rig the games. We rig the stock market, legally of course, right? So like I mentioned, most players, when they buy or they sell a stock, it's a 50-50 chance. It either, it either goes up or it goes down. But as professional traders, what we do is we study the markets. We look for repeatable price action patterns, or we call it technical analysis. And by applying these price action patterns that are repeatable, we are able to enter when the statistical edge is in our favor. So let me give you an example.